Well, it's got an exciting night here. Uh, you beat in Swindon 40. What's your assessment of the performance and the result? Um, yeah, disappointed that we have to win a, a game twice. You know, um, but we had a young team out tonight, and I was really proud with the way we played him in, in you know large parts of the game. I think we turned the ball over a lot. Um, we were a little naive in moments of the game as well. Um, but I'm really proud of the players. You know, we were we were good tonight. Um, yeah. You know, the younger younger players in the squad did did excellent. You know, we had some real good passages of play, and um, I felt that. We had control of the game, you know, in in big moments, uh, in big areas of the, um, of the game. But you know, we, we shouldn't have to win a game twice. It's hard enough winning a game once. You know, mm. to win it twice is uh, is a no-no for me. But listen, the younger players of the the squad will will learn from that. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Uh, playing against a good side as well. Yeah. What did you put that down to after the second goal went in? It felt like you were on the ascendancy, and then suddenly it just changed. Or is there anything well, we, for two reasons? Well, yeah, we just made made silly mistakes at. at you know, in crucial moments, you know, in crucial areas of the pitch, you know, um, we, we, we shouldn't go to ground in the penalty box to give a penalty away. We shouldn't, we shouldn't, no one should ever go to ground, you know, when you're in the penalty box, you've got to stand on your feet. Um, then we make a save from the penalty and then they score off the corner, you know, so we need to look at that. We're really big on defensive corners. We do a lot of work. And I think it was Harry Smith, was it, who scored that goal? Yes. Um, yeah. You know, so he was, he looked like he was kind of on his own. Uh, free header, um, so yeah, we're, we're upset about that. The way we conceded that, um, and then we do, so, you know, do so many good things, but so many silly things, you know. Mm. Um, but it'll be good learning for the players. Yeah, absolutely. And that's these cup competitions. Last year it was the EFL Trophy. This year, using this and that for these younger players. Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, obviously, you saw tonight we rested some some of the boys who played um, on Saturday. The back three played, and the goalkeeper played, and you know, um, and we made kind of changes. Obviously, Max played. Um, but we made we made a few changes to um, to give these boys a game, and I thought it was a really good exercise tonight. You know, against a, a real competitive team, they they made only three changes from their game at the weekend, um, so they were really strong. Yeah, and it shows again the resilience you've got in the side after going back to two. You've won it again, haven't you? Like yeah, no, for sure. No, we 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 were always kind of comfortable. I felt in the game there was you know after they scored their second when it come back to two two. It gives them a little bit of a um, more aggression to press on the front foot, which I thought I felt probably helped us because we played through their press really, really well and got at their back line on a number of occasions. So um, yeah, I thought there was listen. There's loads to be positive about tonight, but we can't be winning a game twice. Yeah, and Jack rolls two stunning goals. Wow, yeah, he was <laughs> he was like really, really good tonight in. You know, in the final third, especially, he was outstanding. I, you know, I mean, he took his goals amazing, didn't he? You know, mm. and so many good things that he did tonight. You know, so yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, and Joy McKenna made him captain tonight. That was, must have been a proud moment for him. How did he? How did he find out about being captain? Um, just in the meeting before the game, we put the we put the team kind of up. The, the players knew yesterday what the team was, but we, we we put the finer detail in things like that in the meeting, so he knew. Um, but no, he's. Um, He's a leader. You could hear him after the game and at half time, kind of throwing a few um, bollockings about. Um, so good. That's what that's what we want from him. Yeah. Um, he's a young, um, a young player who's not had loads of experience at this level, um, but we we think a lot of him. Um, you know, we, we feel that he has got them leadership skills. And Raf Khalil, we haven't seen him for a long time. Thought he was superb again tonight. He was great, wasn't he? You know, mm. I think he ran out of steam. There's a couple of runs towards the end that he, he didn't want to make. But no, I like Raf. I like Raf's performance tonight. I'm so, so pleased for him to score as well. I um, thought it was a great finish. Uh, but yeah, great, great performance by him. And what in particular pleased you about him? Yeah. Uh, just kind of like, he's just, he's just very nimble with the ball, you know, he, he's, he's aggressive. I thought that he, you know, he, he, uh, he smashed into tackles with, with King, who's an experienced player. And I think King got him booked, you know, mm. so he's got to kind of learn from that. But, I liked him tonight. I liked his aggression to to not just be on the ball, but his aggression off the ball as well. Brilliant. Very good. Thanks, Scott. Thank you.